and welcome back. Uh, we've been stuck pretty deeply into some vacuum tube projects lately, most notably the 1-bit vacuum tube computer, as well as the HP 150A oscilloscope. Uh, and so I've had vacuum tubes on my mind pretty much day in and day out for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I kind of wanted to take a little bit of a breather uh, and maybe step into the modern era. And I want to take a look at something that has actually been featured in almost every single video on this channel. Uh, and that's because it sits directly behind me whenever I film these openings. That's right, I want to take a look at the family basic setup for my Nintendo Famicom that's always sitting right behind me. So we'll go ahead and pull this down off of the shelf, set it on the bench, fire it up, and take a look at what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's my uh, family basic system all set up on the Famicom, plugged into my Sanyo monitor here. Uh, now the Sanyo monitor doesn't have any speakers, so we're not gonna hear any sound during all of this, uh, but uh, it just made kind of generic bleeps and bloops to kind of appeal, I think, to that uh, 1980s computer aesthetic. Now I've got the entire setup here. I've got the uh, family basic keyboard with the cartridge as well as the data recorder. Uh, now the data recorder is nothing special at all. It's actually just a rebranded uh, tape deck from another company. They just uh, removed that company's name, put Nintendo on it, changed it to uh, red and silver instead of black and silver, and that's it. Uh, so if you have the keyboard, but you don't have the data recorder, you can actually just use any tape deck at all with it. Now for the Family Basic cart, there are three versions. This is version one, and this is the one that was packaged with the keyboard when you bought it new in 1984. Uh, version two added an SCR command, uh, and version 2.1 had some bug fixes. Um, but whether you had version one, version two, or version 2.1, all of these had two kilobytes of RAM free for uh, storing your basic programs. Version three was a much more streamlined basic experience. Uh, it removed the opening screen, which you can see uh, blinking away here, and the opening screen is quiet, long, and annoying, so that was probably a really good thing. It also added a ton of new additional commands, such as auto or on error go to, uh, but most importantly, it bumped up the amount of free RAM for your basic programs from 2K all the way up to 4K. But if we think of the family computer with the family basic setup here as being a kind of computer for the household, it had some really stiff competition in 1984 and 1985. Uh, most notably in Japan, there were three really big home computers. There was the NEC PC8801, and this had the UPD780 uh, microprocessor with 64K of RAM. There was the Fujitsu FM7, which had two 6809 CPUs and 64K of RAM. And then there was the Sharp X1, which had a Z80 CPU and 64K of RAM as well. Uh, now, interestingly, the Sharp X1 uh, uses Sharp Hudson Basic. And the Basic that is on the Family Basic cartridge is Sharp Hudson Basic. So these two systems were very, very similar to each other, except for the fact that the Sharp X1 just completely decimated the specifications of the uh, Famicom with the uh, Family Basic cartridge. Now for reference, the Famicom had a uh, Ricoh 2A03, which is essentially a 6502 uh, microprocessor, and the system had uh, 2K of RAM built into it, and then the cartridges could expand that amount of usable RAM. Now, speaking of the RAM and, uh, well, the memory in general, uh, here's actually the memory map for uh, Family Basic in use with the Famicom itself. Now, I found this in a translated copy of, I believe, version two of the Family Basic manual. Now, I'm not familiar enough with the uh, Famicom or the uh, NES to uh, really make much sense of this memory map, uh, but I figure some of y'all out there might be, so uh, here it is. So let's go ahead and get it into basic. The opening screen is all in Japanese, so I will read it out and then put uh, subtitles at the bottom of the screen in case you guys are curious what it's actually saying on there. So let's go ahead and get started. Watashi wa family computer desu. Dousa kaishi shimasu. Anato wa dari desu ka? Onamae wo irete kudasai. 
So here it's just asking me to input my name. We'll go ahead and tell him that my name is David. Hit enter. Ryokai. Anata wa David san desu ne. Sagyo kaishi shimasu. Game basic ni shimasu ka? All right, so here we are at the main menu. Uh, Game Basic is the primary uh, application on this cartridge, but they included a couple other really small things like a uh, very simple word processor and a uh, calculator, and I think a calendar. Um, I'm not interested in any of those. Uh, if you are, there's some really good videos out there on YouTube uh, going into much more detail about them, but I'm mostly interested in Basic. So we're gonna go ahead and hit yes, which is F1, and then hit enter. It says, Ryokai. Game basic o kaishi shimasu. And then we get the main menu for game basic. Uh, and we have three options. Three obviously is to end and go back to the screen that we were at. Uh, two is for the background graphics and one is for basic. I'm only gonna focus on basic right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit one. And now we're at the basic prompt. It says uh, NSHU basic version 1.0, 1,983 bytes free. And here we are ready to start programming. I am by no means a good programmer, uh, but I am gonna punch in a quick little program so that we can see all of the characters that we can display on the screen here. So we'll start with uh, 10, and then we'll do a four next loop. So for i equals zero to 255, turn 20 is our next line. We'll say to print character, and we'll print whatever character is at i. And then finally, the uh, last command here is next. That should be the whole program that we need. We'll list it up to make sure that it all looks right. Uh, and I actually noticed that I forgot a uh, semicolon at the end of our uh, print uh, command here. That means that um, every time it prints, it's gonna go to a new line, which is just gonna push everything off the bottom of the screen. So we'll retype that line right quick. 20 print chr dollar sign semicolon. There we go. Let's list it up again. All right, so that's all listed up. We'll go ahead and clear the screen out for us uh, and then we'll hit run. All right, and there we go. So you can see that this is the entire character set that I have access to. Uh, and it's only uh, 256 uh, bytes. If I go beyond 256, uh, it just errors out. Um, but this is everything that you can use. Now this doesn't include sprites. So with uh, basic programs, you can access both this and sprites. They're actually, I think, on totally different planes. Uh, but this is what we can access very easily. And you can see that we have some very interesting characters down here. Uh, now the sprites are built in and they're just regular Nintendo sprites. Um, and well, I'm not a good enough programmer to access that. So in my data recorder here, I've got a little tape that says sample program three. So I think we'll load a program off of this tape and run it on here and see what happens. <laughs> まことにありがとうございます。まず取扱説明書をよく読んだ上でご使用ください。このテープにはファミリーベーシックプログラムのロードが終了しました。では、F8 
UFO ゲームをお楽しみください。All right. Well, that was、uh, interesting to say the least.、Uh, but we can see here that when I hit F1, it said load, and then it said loading sample three, and then it loaded all the data in, says OK. Now, the、uh, very nice lady told us to hit F8 and enjoy the game, but I want to see the program that it loaded up. So we're going to go ahead and list that up here.、Uh, and <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty long、uh, basic program. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, well,、uh, that doesn't mean anything at all to me.、Uh, so we'll just go ahead and hit run. <laughs> and yeah, here we go. This is our basic program. I have absolutely no idea how to play, what the buttons are.、Um, I'm fairly certain that the little. Yep, <laughs> my spaceship has died.、Uh, the arrow keys don't seem to do anything. I can stop the game at any time by hitting stop. Um, and it says break in 310,、uh, but you can see that my sprite stays on the screen. And even if I clear it out,、uh, the sprite still stays there. I'm still not entirely sure how to clear that sprite off the screen. There's a lot of aspects about the basic system here that I don't understand. All right, I've got everything shut off now, and、uh, well, I think we've proven that everything is working、uh, pretty much perfectly. So、uh, I'm going to pop this cartridge out, and I want to see what's on the inside of it. So we'll go ahead and inject it. And、then there's two little screws here on the back. I think if we take those out, we can get a look at the actual card inside and see what's going on. All right, well, we got it apart. That was、uh, pretty painless, and the PCB is really well labeled. So we can actually see what each of these chips is supposed to be doing.、Uh, now, you'll notice that I had to take out some、uh, AA batteries, and that's what、uh, these little connections up here are for.、Uh, and what this is supposed to do is when you put the backup switch on, it's supposed to supply additional power to the working RAM,、uh, which is、uh, this little SRAM chip right up here. Uh, and so that way, it can save your programs in working RAM through power cycles of the machine. I never got this to actually work,、uh, and I don't have the manual to tell me exactly the correct order of operations to get it done.、Um, so it could just be that I was doing it wrong, or it could be that something is actually not working correctly up here.、Uh, but we can see that the、uh, working RAM is a MB8416A. And then right below that, we have our two program ROMs.、Um, these are RP2D129、uh, read only memories.、Uh, and we can see right here that it says it's a 128K ROM. And then、uh, over here on the right, we have a character ROM. This is an RP2D68.、Uh, and we can see that this is a 64K character ROM. Uh, and then the、uh, little tiny chip up here is a、uh, 74HC20. And I believe that this is a dual four input NAND gate. And、uh, I think it's primarily used for chip select with the、uh, data bus and the chips that we have here. Uh, now, there's a Japanese website that has a very good reverse engineered schematic for the version 2.1 cartridge,、uh, but I believe that they're pretty much identical to this one. And well, I'm pretty terrified of、uh, breaking it any further,、uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it all back together, fire it up, make sure it's still working,、uh, and then maybe try to figure out a couple programs. But、uh, I w a n t to thank you guys、uh, so much for watching and joining me on this、uh, little journey to look at my old Famicom with Family Basic. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next episode.